Okay, and the final new update that I want to show you, it has to do with the quiz tool, and it's about um, writing questions in the quiz tool. So they made an upgrade that is an option for you. So I'm going to show you what it looks like and how to go back and forth between the new and the old version if you prefer the old version. So that's one nice thing about it is you do get to choose your preferred workflow for your quiz questions. It looks the same whether you are building a new quiz directly or whether you're building your questions in the question library. You can do it either way. So I have a new quiz format sample quiz already started. And when I go to see everything's still the same, nothing new here. I mean, it looks a little different because it's daylight, but all your options are still there. Now I want to go to add or edit questions. This is where I'm going to see new choices. So when I click to add a new question, I'm going to do a multiple choice question this time. It prompts me with this new quiz creation experience option. So it's turned off right now. I can turn it on, see the new screens as soon as they're available. So I'll turn it on. And what that just means is they haven't updated every question type yet. They're working through them. Um, but the ones that are most in need of the upgrade have been updated. So multiple choice, um, I think most instructors can agree, was in need of an upgrade. Now it looks very similar to if you're creating like a Google form um, or that you just type in your question text, you type your answers, you mark which one is correct, you eliminate or add options, you can reorder them, you can randomize the answers, you can determine the points, and you still have all the additional options for adding feedback or hints, putting in um, custom weights, if that's the way you needed to structure your exam questions, or adding enumeration so that they say A, B, C, D, et cetera. So that's, the, that's what the new quiz tool looks like. It's very clean. It seems very easy to use, a lot less overwhelming than the old one where you were scrolling way down to the bottom to get all those options in. But if you preferred that, you just click this tiny little arrow here and I can turn it off. And what it's gonna say is, please tell us why you're switching back. They want everyone to love their new tool. So I have all these choices and I'm gonna say just switching back to check something because that's true. I don't want to give them any false information. Okay, so that is the new quiz tool feature. I'm not going to go through all the question types. You can get an idea of what the layout looks like just from the multiple choice, which I think was probably the most in need of help um, for those of us who write our own quiz questions and really needed it to be a smoother operation. So now it will be. All right, hope you enjoy.